first ones to teach me about the power of yes. One night, they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground. And I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. After pain. And when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Something broke free inside. I wasn't scared, I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body, and when those were filled, I created more. But it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being. Always receiving, always taking. The best gift isn't the one you get, it's the one you give. Giving takes courage. Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes so you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly be into the time. Who wants to go first? Hmm? Which one? Hmm? This is lesson number. Yes. Yes. You're not going to regret this. I promise. Now, before we begin. I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private, after all. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you.
want to thank John for purging me of my sins. I understand now that my sins have gotten in the way. <laughs> could be worse, you know. You can't lock Here, you just have to confess. If you just In the East, well, let's just say too much bliss can go to one's head. Faith created her angels, but she never did treat them all that well.
Save your energy for when you really have something. Not sure how much... 